Sagittarius welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and if that's what you want to do okay um and if you would like to see extended versions of my readings my pick a cards like just random content and exclusive content definitely join my patreon community if you haven't already the link to subscribe will be listed in the description and right up under that will be my link tree where it will have literally all my links where you guys can find me especially my link for my website if you want to book a session so just check the description but let's go ahead and talk about what I'm intuitively feeling for you so Sagittarius the first thing that I was picturing was a man a man sitting next to like all these items um it was like money a heart and like some other stuff I, I couldn't I wasn't that focused I will be honest through meditation but anyways um with the things that you desire what I kind of took from that with the things that you desire like being financially stable having the love of your life um being content in all areas in your life it's you need to understand that those things are not outside of you like you have to understand that to be abundant you have to understand that you are naturally abundant your energy is abundant okay all right, your energy is abundant. It, it, it ever flows. Of course, you have to refuel it and, you know, recharge, but your energy is abundant as a whole. All right, when it comes to love, you have to understand that you are love. And when you vibrate on what you are, then that's when you attract those things a lot easier. So, um, yeah, I also feel like this is like addressing a lack mindset. When it comes to those things, sometimes we feel like either we're not worthy of those things because of our past experiences or we go into this thought process of, well, um, we go into this thought process of like believing that it's impossible and we kind of just base it off of our past experiences So this is addressing a lack mindset when it when it comes to those things and how it could affect your reality and how it could affect your opportunities as a whole. Now, another thing I wanted to say, um, this is making sure that you guys are recharging your energy. Some of you are like on go. You could be working like multiple jobs here or you could be doing like so many different things with your job or with your family situation whatever this is to where you guys are like just going 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 and spirit is like look you need to take a moment to to collect yourself all right um also i get this energy of like you haven't been the same since so this could be you haven't been the same since um somebody passed away since there's been a breakup with um your last relationship um a lot of you could kind of look back and see where things have kind of shifted in your life you could be like okay well i remember during this time frame things were this way and then things totally shifted right after and this could be for the better or for worse when i say that Okay, somebody during this time frame is acting as if they're really uninterested. So I would definitely be careful of like pursuing anybody um, or cross watchers. I would be careful too of trying to pursue my Sagittarius during this time frame because they may be acting really unbothered or uninterested during this time frame. But um, yeah, I also get the energy of you guys also trying to pursue someone and they may be either acting um, weird or shady or just not responding as much as they used to but this is what i see let's go ahead and flip the camera of course if you want to see the extended version check out the information listed in the description and i'll see you on the other side of the camera Alrighty, so let's see what the overlying energy is for my sages okay so that was fast <laughs> so we have the fifth dimension i really like the artwork on this card okay so the fifth dimension the fifth dimension is an interesting card this is the unknown this is the unseen the realm of the unseen hmm. 
a lot of you are about to have clarity when it comes to things that you're unsure about, okay? Hmm. Let's see what else comes up. We have Broken Heart, Healer of the Ages. So right off the bat, I get the sense that a lot of you have been through your fair share of disappointment. And because you've gone through that fair share of disappointment, you're able now to be that person that can help other people heal through their traumas, their experiences. This could even be in terms of even health stuff. I usually don't read on that, but I'm getting a sense that some of you... You may want to be like a spokesperson for like cancer or whatever like health issue you may have overcame. Okay, you may be somebody who could give your testimony and help people around you. A lot of you are also in a space to where like you're really recovering from disappointment associated with love, with opportunities that you feel like you may have missed. Okay, this is you kind of like shifting that, okay, I missed that opportunity to, okay, how can I now, knowing what I did in the past that may have kept me from having that opportunity or from getting my wishes fulfilled, what now can I do? What do I need to shift in order to kind of change that, that outcome moving forward? Okay. Um, some of you may decide to get a spiritual healer, whether this is like you going to an advisor, a spiritual advisor. Some of you guys may have a reading that's really impactful, that really helps put some things to rest here. Okay, we have financial constraints that came out. So this is making sure that you're preserving your finances. This is making sure that you're not letting obstacles around money kind of put you in a space to where you're extremely stressed. Um, some of you may have dipped into like a savings account recently. Spirit is saying slowly but surely kind of gradually build that back up. If you don't have a savings account, this is a heads up that you need to put some money away, put some money in a shoebox, whatever works for you. Ooh. We have blossoming abundance. So that's interesting. Right after the financial constraints card, we have financial or not financial blossoming abundance. So I definitely see a shift of energy. Once you change your mindset and you kind of like stop focusing on the unknown aspect of things, you kind of welcome a new energy for yourself. Let's pull some cards from the tarot. Sagittarius. Okay. So we have the lovers in reverse. Okay, there's the energy of you not seeing eye to eye with someone. You could be tell you could be in this energy of um, being able to tell that somebody you're interested in, they may not be ready for a relationship. They may have just gotten out of one. They may not be super receptive to one at the moment. So you could be deciding to kind of take a step back. And let this person breathe okay we have the king of cups the provider of emotional support and maturity okay water energy coming through but i see that you guys really like this person if this is somebody who you've dated before because i also see that too where there's a relationship that's kind of like falling apart because of the fact that there's some imbalances that have not been addressed um, or are being addressed in a very immature way. But there's feelings here. There's true feelings. It's just a matter of 
better decisions needing to be made in the way uh, the problems kind of spring up here. If you haven't heard from this individual for like a week or so, you will hear from them. So don't stress out. Um, it's a matter of like the initial conversation you guys have that needs to be different than what I'm seeing. Hmm. Some of you are interested in somebody and the reason why they are so distant is because of the fact that they're anxious that things will go left either again or just in general if this is someone new. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to finish this off and we're going to use my Price of Love Oracle, which is my... One of my favorites, my new babies by Crystal Banner. My name's Crystal and her name's Crystal, so that's awesome. I'm going to use also the Quantum Oracle. We're going to pull some cards from both of these decks. So join me over there. If you're a part of my Patreon community, check the Patreon and I'll see you on the other side.